Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge. And I turned to page 136 in Bobby Flay's new book, Bobby at Home, and there's the chicken pot. I, I knew you'd find oh, yeah. that. <clears throat> I knew you'd oh, find that. Can I smell the book? You know I... It's not a scratch and sniff. Oh, it's not? Okay. You can sniff. You sniff. I thought maybe. Such a good idea. Sniff Bobby Flay's new yeah. book. That is oh, a good it smells idea. so mm. good. I smell the cheese. Yes. You know how I feel about chicken parm. Don't get me started. No, you, chicken parm, the first time oh. I ever met you, you were, um, this is before your uh, transformation. Before when Your I weighed 120 pounds more. It was insane. But you, all you did the first time I was on the show was talk about chicken parm for an hour. How many accounts he follows on Instagram or chicken parm? Yeah. Oh, yeah, chicken. that's right. I want you to pull my pants down and slap my ass with a chicken parm. No problem. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Anyway, so okay, so so uh, can we is, video that or Aaron. no? Well, you, you can buy a video of it already. <laughs> so uh, Bobby Flay's Bobby at Home, your fifteenth book. Fifteenth. So you ridiculous. It's, my first book is coming out in, uh, Tuesday, I guess. For what is it? A tell all. It's not a tell all, but it's a tell some. Really, <laughs> chapter one. Yeah, there's there's a murder in there, oh. and there's uh, some drug abuse. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's radio. Okay. I think your name's in there too. Oh, brother. Um. <laughs> By the way, so I don't know what it's like to do this book thing. Book tours are are are, are they're they're um they're grinding. I mean, it's oh. it, it's one thing after the other, never stops, as you know. I mean, you, you, you know, it's just it's. Can I see your book? Yeah. Are you gonna sign one to me? Uh, yeah, whatever. Oh, you, what, what's awesome. it, I, so I don't even know how. To, I've just been signing my name. Well, so. here's the thing. First of all, you like you go to book signings. Everybody wants to have a picture. You have to. Um, sign books to them. You have to personalize them. It's good stuff. No, it's it's great stuff. <clears throat> but then, like all the promotion, you know, radio, TV, now all the social media, you're going to go from one show to the next to promote your your appearances. That's yeah. the way it works. That's how people know you're there. Mm-hmm. Here's now, my thing. I told them to get a stamp and just stamp his name. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't I, look, work. I wrote, I love you, Bobby. And also, here's the thing. When people... Like it's it's really important to, uh, to 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 remind yourself that when people make the effort to come to the bookstore and wait in line and say hi and spend their money on your book, like that's that's a really amazing thing that people do for you. You have to give them you know their moment of and of of saying thank you to. I them. will. Yeah. All four of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show up. I'll get to know them. Here, I, I wrote in my book, "I love you." I Bobby. love you, Bobby. Do you no, write that in every book? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. What's your question, Scary? So. So, Bobby, Enjoy. you, you know, you. maybe give Elvis some pointers. You know, there's so many people that are going to be lined up for the book. Yeah. What, what do you do? What's your tactic to kind of move it along a little bit if there's people, like, lingering, to, you know, for, like, a minute, two minutes, and then you're seeing it in the corner of your eye, everybody's getting well, what's the, what's the tactic to yeah. move your question yeah. a little faster? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not. You, it's basically what happens is the line you want to get. You want the line to have a rhythm yeah. to it. Okay. So, so you have to have. You have to be organized. So you have to have somebody on your team, like, like bring Brody to take pictures. Okay, Brody. <laughs> okay. Because. All right. I'm trying to. Gi- I'm in the book. I don't take pictures. Okay. I'm trying to give you a function here. No, okay. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> All right, so so rhythm rhythm in the line. And you know what? I never, uh, scary. Got to be honest. I never thought of that. Thanks no, no. For you need to, because what happens is everybody has a phone camera now, right? Everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. So so what happens is they're gonna see you. They're gonna get nervous. Oh my God, it's Elvis. I can't believe I'm meeting. And then they're gonna fumble for their phone. And it's just, all right. that takes time. They need to be organized. So as they as they're coming up to the line, like two back. Like whoever's gonna take the picture says, "Hey, can I get get your camera? I'll take a picture while Elvis is signing your book." All right, That's Brody. A good idea. So Brody, yeah. you got you have to familiarize yourself idea. with the iPhone. <laughs> good because <luck>. because <laughs> it's not, it's not like you're trying to run people through, but you, but at the same time you want the line. You, everybody's waiting online. You, they right. want to get to you. I got you. Right. Yeah. There's got to be a nice pace. Yes, exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, you have your book, Bobby at Home. I have my book called uh, Where Do I Begin, and someone else has a book. Please welcome oh. our guest, Chef Letty. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hello. Hello. Chef a boy on a D bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, hold on a second. Do you do you have your own book coming out, Chef Letty? What is certainly I do. Oh, I'm sorry, Chef Lati. I know. I come here from France. Say zippity do die. Come over. I say you bring in the Bobby McFly. I have to show him my book. What's it? What's it called? Chef Lati. You enter my kitchen. I make a love to you. <laughs> that sounds like a- <laughs> yes. It's like the old Mesa Grill days. Yes, exactly. But yeah. not to you. I I don't make love to gingers, you know, no gingers. I Wait. use no ginger in anything. Chef, is, <laughs> d- does your hat say Chef Latte or Chef Latte? It's Latte. <laughs> <laughs> Just a Chef Latte, Latte. It don't matter. It's I come over, I bang everybody. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, 
Well, so Chef, chef, yes, chef Lati, uh, yes. Bobby Flay, you know, he hasn't been on our show for a year and a half. We, I know. So yeah, I know you were so excited to fly over on the Concorde, <laughs> which, which doesn't, doesn't fly. exist anymore. Which doesn't fly anymore. Well, I, I figured, I said to myself, why you not been here in over a year? It must have been because I am the only chef, you know. <laughs> chef Lati, chef is the only chef needed for this show, you know. Right. I didn't see you at that Elvis is a wedding, Bobby. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you were not invited. Uh, <laughs> actually, I, actually, I was invited, yeah, and I framed invited. the invitation. Well, I, had, I had good time with Guy Fieri. It was the most, <laughs> so was much fun there? with him. No, he oh. was not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we love Guy. We do love him. We He's a guy, much better Rachel. conversationalist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so, so uh, Chef Latisse, yes. is there anything you want to talk to Bobby Flay about oh in particular? I, you know, I want to tell him, you know, he come here into the easy America, you know. He's the man around town. But I say, you know, Bobby, I am the man around town, around the world, you know. <laughs> like, you know I am Chef. I want to remind you, you know, I, you're, like a, you're like an aluminum foil, Chef, and I will crumble you up and so, with ease. So. I can't hear what? Wait, Holly, can you say that you'll crumble him up at what? I will crumble him up with ease. Okay. <laughs> like aluminum foil. Okay. Yes. Spoiler alert, uh, everybody beats Bobby Flay, you know? <laughs> That's not true. He's you know, he, no he, mayor nope. of Flavortown. He's no mayor. <laughs> no, but I'm serious. I mean, uh, Bobby Flay, has uh, he beats a lot of people on Beat Bobby Flay. Not uh, good challenges like me, you know? I will tell you, the day I was on uh, Beat Bobby Flay, yes. he, you, you did not do well. Really? You beat me? No, I didn't beat you. No, another chef beat. Oh, okay. Well, well that's, I think that's the whole time point. to book a big guest like myself. Yes, would you show. like to be on Beat Bobby Flay? Oh, are you kidding me? I wiped the floor with your ass. And what would your, <laughs> and what would your signature dish be, Chef Latte? <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, now you caught me off guard. I <laughs> yeah, what, what, you know what? What is your? I know you're always evolving in your in your your favorite dishes, Chef yes. Latte. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what What is your current favorite dish that you like to to prepare? It of course is a sex in the pot, you know. <laughs> Sex in the pot. Sex what? in the pot. Sex oh, in the pot. pot. Uh, <laughs> so good. I take a women and I make a love to them. And then I put the sex in the pot. Uh, eat this, lady. <laughs> All right. I, it's, it's possible. I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I must assume, Bobby. I Bobby Flay, I bet you have met so many interesting characters in this in, in the, the industry of, of cooking and food and restaurants. and do, Have you ever met anyone quite as interesting as Chef Latte? Never. Okay. No. Never, but uh, so, hmm. Mm. Do you know Greg T by any chance? Of course, I love that guy. He's amazing. <laughs> he called me when you're going to be here. I said, I must come now. Because how dare you be there when I'm not there? So, yes, Greg T is amazing. I, I've never seen you two take a picture together. No, me neither. You know, we I... We should try. We should see. I don't know why. It's like a Superman in uh, Clark Kent. I don't know. <laughs> what a great team. Exactly that. That it is man, that. Greg well, T. Chef Letty, do you have any uh, closing remarks for our, our guest, Bobby Flay, who hasn't been here in a year and a half? I don't have. I, I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, too much going on. Yeah, okay, maybe maybe I should. Has, has, you know? Bob, has uh, uh, Dave Brody written you anything else you can say? <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's just let me look at my script. <laughs> I mean, at this point, uh, you know, I don't even know where to go anymore. Uh, let's see. Uh, what did he say? <laughs> If Bobby talk about his book, uh, you talk about your book. We did that. We did. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. We did that. Uh, you're here. At the checklist. <laughs> you're only here because Batali is uh, how you say busy. Okay. All right. We, we did. Okay. Check. <laughs> you're the only person I don't want to have less sex with. And no ginger. We did that when I came here. Right. <laughs> I think you've uh, pretty much covered the whole scene. We, we're pretty much done, you know. All right. Well, <laughs> Chef, Chef Letty, uh, bon voyage. Bon voyage. See you later, McFly. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>
Brody, how many, how many great jokes did he miss? He was 0 for 7. <laughs> I just handed him one. It was highlighted. And he goes, I don't see anything. It was highlighted. The joke, can I tell the joke that he didn't do? No, no, no. no. I'll, only I'll, I'll, I'll tweet it. Okay, okay. Tweet out now. Oh, yeah. Anyway, oh Chef T. Oh, my tea. goodness. There you go. I can't you come it. in here and... Uh, <laughs> God. And by the way, I've what? missed that. Yeah, you did, really? Yeah. Yeah. So what, so if... Uh, is there a chance that uh, Chef Latia is going to move on as well? You know what? Is uh, there an opening? I will tell you, uh, we do have an opening for a, an official chef. Chef, okay. On the show. All right. If you can uh, make McFlay, some... McFlay, would you like McFlay. to McFlay. McFlay's back. If you know McFlay. anyone who's interested. McFlay. Hey, I, I, I guess i got to ask you something. Uh, I, I follow you. I, I know you're totally busy, and you're always shooting shows here and there, and you've got restaurants everywhere, and... You, are you still loving it? Is oh, it, absolutely. It isn't what it was five years ago, ten years ago. What is it now compared to Bobby Flay, let's say, five years ago? What is different <laughs> in your life because of what you do? What is different in my life? I mean, I, it's really very much the same. I, be, I, I mean, I continue to do the same thing over and over. I open restaurants. I run the restaurants. I write cookbooks. I do a lot of you know, uh, food television on Food Network. It's really I've been doing the same thing since I'm basically 17 years old, honestly. And so I, I absolutely still love it. It's it's amazing. Obviously, like any business, even the radio business, everything evolves and changes. But you just got to go with it. I mean, I can't. I have zero complaints. Zero. But wait, do you have a rhythm to like giving yourself a break? Because yes. You're old, okay. Because I'm you, better at that. Okay. That's actually a good point. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm better at that. I used to not take any time off. Last year, I went to Rome by myself. Actually, that's not true. I took Nacho. To Rome. <laughs> you took your cat, cat to Rome. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they love pets in six, Italy. Six weeks. I was there by myself. It was an amazing trip. I had never done anything close to that before in my oh, life. Wow. I think that's something that we shouldn't wait for. I no, think don't if, wait. If, if, look, look, taking six weeks off is, is a luxury. Not everyone can do that. But to be able to travel somewhere by yourself, maybe take the cat. Yeah. Uh, what a gift you can give yourself. Yeah. Do people recognize you in Italy and freak out like they would here? Americans, not Italians. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a, so honestly, it's a little bit. I'm you know I'm a little more free to just. Rome and do whatever I want to do, no matter what. Like, in other words, if <clears throat> if I go to a bar in Rome by myself, no one cares. If I sit at a bar in New York, somebody ultimately is going to come up and be like, how come you're by yourself? Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Wow. Don't you love sitting at the bar? I love it. It's my favorite thing to do. Alex and I go out to dinner, and we always will reserve a table, but when we get there, the first thing we do is scope out the bar, and if we can sit there for dinner, we'll always stay at the bar. I, I completely agree with you. That's exact. I love that. I just like the energy of the bar. I think it's so much. Plus, there's liquor close by. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. We have yeah. a drinking problem. That- Uncle Johnny always sits at the bar, right? I love the bar. Of course you do. <laughs> I, I, I love the, the, the bar. <laughs> Bobby, we love you. Thank you for Thank coming you. to see us. Uh, the my book, pleasure. of course, Bobby at Home, and- Everything you're doing, and we, we just—I love keeping an eye on you, and I just—I uh, miss seeing you. And oh, I'm that's so, so sweet. I'm so glad you came to see us. Thank today. you. I'm f- I'm happy to be here. Nice to see everybody again. Baby hot. Good to see you. Baby hot. <laughs> Baby <laughs> finally. So I guess we'll see you at this time tomorrow. Perfect. Right. Saturday morning. Yay! Bobby Flay. <laughs>